The fact that Girls Right Now has been dedicated to this mission for over 20 years, lifting girls no matter who they are is powerful. I feel it's very important to dream. And I learned that when you have a dream, you should believe in that dream. You shouldn't allow anyone to damage or kill that dream. I got to the point where I felt that it was important for me to own my story. When I finished my book, I felt relieved, but I was also exhausted. But I learned that I've had a life full of many emotions, joy, traveling to magical places, a full life that has helped shape me into the woman that I am. A black girl from East Orange, New Jersey, raised by a single mom, that you can do anything that you put your mind to and don't think that you have to apologize for all the mistakes or stumbles that you've that you've encountered. As long as you get up and you stand and you look back and you know you've been truthful and can look yourself in the mirror and say, I did all those things, you should really cut yourself a break. Sometimes when you're writing and you're in the process, it can be painful or, or difficult, but you must find, you, even if you have to dig down to to forge ahead and um, forge through it, because in the end, you'll be happy you did. With Whitney, even though she's a public figure, that was our journey. That was our friendship. I was side by side with her, and I felt the need to share the things that were important to that friendship and to that dream that I felt we had conquered. And in that, I wanted to, whatever I shared about her, I wanted people to see and read that she was on the pages, she was there. I wanted them to feel that too. I just approached this book being open, honest, and vulnerable. And um, that's my story.